what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? If you're not a black man, I want you to imagine that you are, just for a moment. You're in America. You're in a city called Los Angeles. You are working one of your three jobs because you're a hardworking, honest black man. You're delivering food to a customer at an apartment building. You get to the call box and you notify the customer, hey, I'm here, let me up. But out of nowhere, some vile creature accost you and ask you, why are you wearing a mask? Mind you, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Why are you wearing a mask? Is this a holdup or something? This is not just any stranger accosting you. This is a woman with a face only a blind mother could love. She's telling you, I don't want you in the building. The dude is trying to explain, look, uh, I'm here to deliver food. Well, you don't live here, but we don't want you to come in the building. We, we don't want you to come in the building. She hold this man up for several minutes. The man finally made contact with the customer and I tell the customer, hey, do you want me to leave the food? Uh, leave the food here? Uh, and the customer finally comes down. Why, family? Why can't people just mind their own? You know what? Not people, white people. Why can't white people just mind their own damn business? Wait a minute, let me pump my brakes because I hate generalizations, why can't racist white people mind their own damn business? If they hate us so much, why do they go out of their way to engage us? Why don't they just avoid us? Why do they have to confront? The argument that they're afraid don't fly. They're not afraid, which is the reason why they do what they do. They're not getting leaned on. That's why they do what they do. You don't accost that which you are afraid of. This woman is so vile and she looks like she's in her 70s or 80s. So that's years, that's decades of her harassing folks. I bet you all kinds of black people have just horrible stories about her. And for her to be the way she is, it's gotta be some white people that's got some horrible stories about her too. What a waste of space. She is lucky that dude was as calm as he was. It almost seems to me that they know a particular type of black person to mess with. Because they never mess with me. I never had those type of issues. I mean, never, not even remotely. In fact, other black people who are around me don't have those issues when, when I'm in their presence. It just don't happen. I wonder why. I'm telling you, fam, the only time they will attack is when they have size, numbers, or weaponry. And that 911 phone call, that's a weapon. Because if you're white and you call the police and you say a black person is doing something to you, Man, they're going to speedy Gonzalez over there. Like, hey, wait, yeah, wait, yeah. Wait, gun, uh, stop, stop, stop. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. They're going in because they know the Ku Klux Klan is embedded in police departments all over America. They know this. 
So this is why they act the way they act because they know that other people with badges and guns who look like them and believe the same things that they believe are gonna show up. And they're just looking to bust some head. They're just looking for some trouble. See, she would have struck dude if she thought she could get away with it. This is why the police act the way they act. You understand what I'm saying? Now, something that was odd to me about this whole situation was the guy who's in the video, uh, his name is Jordan Gibson, and his girlfriend, Monica, started a GoFundMe. And I'm trying to figure out why did she start a GoFundMe? Because she did not mention that he got fired. She said the reason why she started it was because she wanted to raise money for his rent for over the, for the next, I think she said three months. But if he's already working three jobs, why does he need a fundraiser? Why does he need a GoFundMe? If I'm missing something, fill me in, fam. But I'm just trying to figure that part out. And the girlfriend was pretty body body in the description of the GoFundMe. She was like, he was Jordan was a, attacked by this racist ass white, white woman. <laughs> the grand, the girlfriend riding. She like, man, she's totally offended. Like, uh, you know, I, I think the the language is a big course for a GoFundMe account because you know for GoFundMe you got to kind of be pretty, make it really, really pretty, whatever. But you know she she spoke how she felt. I mean, where she wrote the words, that text, the tone is how she felt. And the way I read it led me to believe that she is a real one, a real one for sticking with him and riding for him. But I just couldn't figure out you know, why the GoFundMe. Again, if y'all can enlighten me, please do so. But man, what a hideous looking woman. Damn, that's one of the ugliest women I ever seen in my life. Ooh wee, man, can you imagine what her, is it her mama or her daddy or both of them? Where she get that look from? Good God. I can't even imagine her being a cute baby. You know, sometimes you can have a cute baby. Who man. Ooh, that woman hard to look at. That's probably why she's so mad. That's it. That's why she's so mad. She is ugly. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about?